Alright, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's just says Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Um, I want to go on this lesson on basically, we wasn't brought over here to America to enjoy life. Okay? Um, you see a lot of our people, they care more for, um, for entertainment than they do knowledge. That's why you have a lot of people that want to go to these entertaining, uh, churches, uh, people that want to party on the weekends, people that want to look at these reality TV shows or whatever TV show there is, or, or look into the lives of, um, these celebrities, okay? People that always want to go out and, you know, party and, and eat food and, you know, drink and, um, you know, just enjoying life. Which is nothing wrong with enjoying life, but like I said, people care more about entertainment than they do um, knowledge, okay? They'll look, overlook a video especially in this truth you know some some guys will overlook a video that is like extremely edifying okay in order to go look at something that has to deal with uh drama okay um i'm gonna go ahead and jump into the scriptures okay um this is psalm 137 and 1 it says, by the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down, yeah, we wept when we remembered Zion. So, when the, so when, when the Israelites came over here, okay, they didn't come over here on no cruise ships. You know, they wasn't drinking martinis or anything like that. In fact, you know, they were stacked up, force fed, um, you know, forced to eat foods that they didn't want to eat, okay. The so-called white man treated cattle worse, I mean, better than, than, than our people, man. Okay? So how much more uh, are they going to treat us today? Okay? It says, We hanged our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof, for there they that carried us away captive required of us a song, and they that wasted us required of us mirth. Okay? So let me see what this word, this word mirth says, right? It says, saying, sing us one of the songs of Zion, okay? It says the word mirth, which is, I believe, sama, samaka, sam, samaka. It says, uh, it says, joy, mirth, gladness, mirth, gladness, joy, gaiety, or gaiety, gaiety, it says, Pleasure, joy of God, glad result, happy issue. So, when the slaves brought our people over here, I mean, the slave masters brought our people over here, you know, they required them to, to sing a song. You know, as if, you know, we were there in the ta entertainment, man. And, you know, you can look at movies like Amistad and... Um, a lot of these slave songs, you know, where, where they were singing Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, you know, um, Kumbaya, you know. Like I said, like those, those, during those times, it wasn't none of that, you know, having fun and enjoying life, man, when when the slaves came over here, okay. Um, it says, how shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land, you know. And and we are in a strange land, which is America. You know, this this is one of the worst places known to man. You know, being over here in this this wicked society, man. You know, you gotta wake up the next day. You know, to to, to go to work for 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 a boss. You know, for a company. You know, you gotta you gotta go to go to school all all day. You know, and then end up having to pay, you know, uh, the loan or whatever the case may be, man. You, 
one way or another, our people are catching hell, man. Okay? And, and you know, they're singing a, a, a song in a strange land. Okay? Which is a strange song. You know, people sitting up there saying, you know, uh, enjoy life, get money, you know? And, it, and, and, and even if you, you was to... to, to uh, basically go go out here and go get you know money go you know get a lot of money you're still gonna have to pay bills and everything man so so you you people are, are that are trying to enjoy and uh, and all the all the, the the 12 tribes do this man even down to 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 Issachar, man you know they do the fiestas and the siestas and all that stuff man you know always want to enjoy life man but it's nothing to fucking enjoy you know, especially the, the, the Mexicans, man, with the tri which are the tribe of Ishikar, okay? You, 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 you working extra hard, man, uh, below minimum wage, man, and, 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 and being stacked up in them houses and stuff like that, man, you know? And, 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 and want to enjoy life, man. Ain't, this shit ain't nothing to enjoy, man. This shit is oppression, man. The scripture says solely oppression making for wise man mad, man. And we're oppressed every day. Every day. So it's always a reason to, to be mad about something, man. Okay? This is Proverbs 14 and 13. It says, even in laughter, the heart is sorrowful. Okay? So even in laughter, you know, you people still laughing, but in the back of your mind, you still like, man, you know, you probably probably going through something, you know, like, like, you know, some type of uh, 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 body ailment or, you know, you might be sick or, or somebody in your family might be sick or, you know, in the back of your mind, even in that laughter, you still know like, hey, some, some shit ain't right, man, in this life, man. You know? And that's because we, we're in this fucking hell, man. And people love this shit, man. It says, and the end of that uh, mirth or the end of that joy is heaviness. You know, so you people, y'all enjoy y'all little times where, like, like for example, Beyonce just came out and said that she's having twins. So the fuck what, man? Give a fuck about her having no twins, man. And any man that that is following or or or, or cares about her um, having children or or, or being uh, pregnant with twins, man, that's that's a fucking faggot, man. You know. You worry about yourself, man. Don't give a, give a, give a goddamn about her having children, man. You know what? Where, where is that, where is that going to get us, man? You know, you act, you people acting like y'all y'all going to get a baby shower. I mean, invite to the baby shower or something, man. You know, but but you you it says the the end of that 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 mirth is heaviness. So, you know, she just came up with this, and then next what? You know, I mean, uh, then, then, then what, man? You know, and and in a week, y'all gonna forget about it, and y'all gonna y'all gonna be waiting until the next thing to happen, man. Y'all still gonna be going going through the bullshit, man. You know, it ain't no no fun over here, man. This 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 life ain't no fun, man. We just doing things to get us by, and y'all people are doing this, you know, to look for something to actually continue on, man. You know. And it's and it's just continuing to, to, to be more and more um or less and less uh fun, man. You know? It ain't fun like how it was back then, man, when 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 our parents and stuff was growing up, you know, they was able to do stuff that, you know, like the music was good, at least you could say that. Nowadays the music is trash. You go go you go to these clubs and, and the music is garbage. You go to these to these uh um churches and you got all type of faggots and stuff in there, man. So what are you people really celebrating, man? You can't really celebrate nothing. You know, you can't you can't look at sports and 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 and, and look at a good game anymore. You know, they, they they done made football soft, you know? So so you people not really enjoying nothing, man. You just you just Doing it for the sake of, man. Because you don't have nothing else to do, man. You, you're miserable, man. Okay? This is um, James 4 and 9. People have to 
where the elect is going to wake up. It says, be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord. He shall lift you up. You know, people just want to hear about um, the good things, man. You know, in life, just want to hear about the good things, man, too. And, you know, you know you catch a hell, but you just want to hear the good things or you're going to make it. You know, you you like this, 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 uh, th or share this or whatever. You know, you're going to, you're going to uh, get a bag full of money. You know, and y'all people believe in that bullshit, man. Show me where somebody walked into a bag of money, man, for sharing something, man. And you can't, you can't do it. You know, but it says be afflicted, man. That's who the, the people who the Lord are dealing with, the ones who realize that, man, this shit ain't, this shit ain't fun. This life ain't fun, man. Crying for all the abominations out here, man. You got Trump just, Trump is having fun. Donald Trump is having fun. You sending all them, them, them um, executive orders, he's having fun with doing that, man. You know, he's the president. He's having the time of his life, man. You know? But meanwhile, y'all people looking at like, oh man, like he just he just signed that, you know? He just did that, like God dang, he he could do that, man. Impeach him, you know? It's, this place ain't ain't we wasn't bought here for fun, man, you know? And that's the main point, you know? Um, but like I said, or as the scriptures say, you know, be afflicted and mourn and weep, man, you know? Like there's more to life than than paying bills and dying, man. But you people don't see it. You you don't want to see it. Okay? You're blinded. You're blinded to, to what's really going on. Okay? This is Ecclesiastes 7 and 2. It is better to go to the house of mourning, you know, which great millstone, we are the house of mourning. You know? You you go, you, you come to us, you're going to get the real, man. Okay? We're not going to sugarcoat anything. It says then to go to the house of feast and, and that's what a lot of these other camps or these other churches and stuff like that, man, want to be sitting up there teaching the, the um you know the, the 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 smooth things that's inside the Bible instead of the whole thing, man. Okay? You gonna get everything, man, when you when you come here, man. You know? We gonna tell you like, hey man, you gonna have to, you know, gonna have to probably the, the life that you, you thought you was living before, man, you gonna have to this ain't this truth ain't about that, man. Y'all by some y'all side is not about that, man. Okay? It says, uh, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. So the living, the ones who do the Lord is, is dealing with, you know, they're gonna lay it to their heart that hey, this life is bullshit, man. You can't even really enjoy anything. You can't you can't uh go out and 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 and, and, and live is a so-called black man in this society because the police uh, messing with people. You got to wake up the next day, you know, to, to go to work. It's, it says, sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. Okay? So it says sorrow is better than laughter, so it's better to, to live in a sorrow uh, state of mind than to always having fun and shit, man. Okay, this is what the scriptures say, man. Okay? People uh be having, you know, living single moms and single dads and you know, going through the, the baby mama drama and you know, uh your woman cheating on you, not doing right by you, you know? And you people still wanna have fun in this 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 hellhole, man. This hell. It says the the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. So the, the, the men of the Lord are going to tell you, you know, this place is hell, man. This is a sorrowful life, man. And 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 we got to reach the elect of our people, you know, so that we can start living, man. Because we're not living over here. This, this shit is not, not living, man. It says, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. The house of joyness. And when you look at all these celebrities, all these people that uh, our people look up to, man, they all fools, man. Niggas be having red and pink dreads, you know. 
looking dumb as shit, man. But but you people look at those type of things and, and find entertainment in it. You know? Oh, such and such cut, cut her hair. Or she's wearing rings on her fingernails now. You know? That shit not funny, man. Or, or, or fun, man. Just want to look at comedy movies and stuff. And a lot of these uh, comedians aren't even funny, man. But then they say, oh, you got a dry sense of humor. Or you're dry and so on and so forth. I'd rather be dry, man, than to, than to, to, to be a part of that, you know, as the scriptures say, the, the heart of mirth. You know where the fools are, man. Okay? It says, Ecclesiastes 8 and 15. Then I commended mirth. Then I commended uh, joy. Because a man has nothing better, uh, th no better thing under the sun than to eat, to drink, and to be merry. So, it's, you know, it's, it's okay, you know, to, to, to have fun, to, to eat, drink, and, you know, have fun. Okay? For that shall abide with him. Of his labor, the days of his life, which God gives him under the sun. So there's nothing wrong, technically, with you know enjoying life. I'm not saying that, you know, you know we was, you know, you, you people don't look at the the the, the videos on, on why we're in this, this situation. You don't look at why things are going on the way that they are. Okay. You walk right past us every day to go to, the, you know, on, on, when we out there pushing the work at camp, you know, people walk by to go to these stores to, to try to get fresh and stuff like that, man. To go eat food, to go visit uh, different spots, man. Okay. And, 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 you know, there's nothing wrong with, you know, getting food or or enjoying stuff and doing things to make you happy. But you people are going overboard with it. You know, overload. It ain't it ain't no stopping you. Um, Isaiah 24 and 8. It says, um, the mirth. Um, yeah, the mirth of Tabret ceased. Ceased. The noise of them that rejoiced. Um, endeth the joy of the heart ceaseth okay so it ain't gonna be none of that you know real soon you know when when martial law is implemented the RFID RFID chip the diseases okay um all the plagues of Egypt that's that are gonna be sent here to America it ain't gonna be none of that fun in, in, in games anymore man okay all that listening to music and you know, checking to see what Beyonce does. Man, Beyonce going to be worried about her fucking self during that time. When the internet is gone, we're going to see who really um, bought that life, man. Okay? Um, it says, they shall not drink wine with, with a song. So it ain't going to be none of that, you know, uh, grabbing a bottle and going to the club, doing the two-step and, and all that shit, man. It says, strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. So you people that 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 want to party now, you know, having a strong drink, want to be, you know, hennied up and shit like that. When when that time comes and this place um starts shutting down, okay, it's the, the next scripture says it says um the city of confusion is broken down, which is America. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. There's a cry for new wine in the street. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. The joy of this land is about to be gone. You know? You people that are going to be henny, henny up, you're going to be drinking and, and going out your mind, man. Like I said, we wasn't brought over here to, 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 to enjoy slavery. You know, which we are still in, in slavery. You know? It might not be the, the, the physical uh, whip to your back slavery, but we are still in slavery, man. Okay? Still in captivity. And this is the last uh, scriptures I have right here. Jeremiah um, 16 and uh, 8. Thou shalt not also go into the house of feasting to sit with them to eat and to drink. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, behold, I will cause to cease out of this place in your eyes 
and in your days the voice of mirth, the voice of glad I mean and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom, and the voice of the bride. You know, ain't gonna be none of that oh let's go get married and, and bullshit like that, man. It says, and this will come to pass when thou shalt sow or sue this people all these words, and they shall say unto thee, Wherefore have the Lord pronounced all this great evil against us? So why the heck, you know, you might be asking, why is the Lord going to be, you know, doing these things to us? Okay? The same way how, you know, he put the spirit on the, um, you know, the God Dylan roof. Okay? To go into that um, or AME church or something like that. You know, to, to kill those people for, you know, worshiping uh, white Jesus and shit like that. That's what's going to happen to you people, man. You know, you might go to these entertaining churches and you're not getting the truth about who the devil is and the devil just come in there and shut that shit down, man. You know? It says, Wherefore has the Lord pronounced all this great evil against us? Or what is our iniquity iniquity and what or what is our sin that we have committed against the Lord our God? Right? Which y'all people don't don't even lay it to heart that y'all y'all going off. It says, Then shall you say unto them, Because your fathers have forsaken me, saith the Lord, and have walked after other gods, and have served them, and worshipped them, and have forsaken me, and have not kept my law, which you people aren't kept keeping the law today. Y'all not worshipping or serving the Lord. Y'all worshipping other gods, you know, the white Jesus and stuff like that. Y'all forgot who the Lord is, man. And we telling y'all who the Lord is. We telling y'all the name. And y'all don't y'all can't even get that. Okay? It says, um, and you have done worse than your fathers. So you people nowadays are doing worse than your fathers, man. Y'all worshiping Beyonce, man. You know? And all these other celebrities. Always a uh, movie come out. Or, you know, it was just nothing wrong with going to the movies, but but you know, I mean that that's probably a bad example, man. You know, uh, uh, going to the club all the goddamn time. You got a man and shit, you know, for the woman. Okay, it says, um, for behold, you walk everyone after the imagination of his evil heart that you may not hearken unto me. So you don't listen unto the voice of the Lord, man. You know, people probably looked at five minutes of this video and, and, and cut it off. You know, because, oh, he's reading for the Bible. You know, the Bible is basically shutting down everything that you, you people believe in, man. Okay? It says, Therefore will I cast you out of this land into a land that you know not, neither you nor your fathers, and there you shall serve other gods day and night, where I will show you no favor. Okay? And that's what people are doing now. They they serving the Lord, I mean, uh, serving different gods, um, day and night, okay, it says, therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said that the Lord lives that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but the Lord lives that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, which is America, you know, North America, okay, USA, United States, Babylon the Great, according to the scriptures, and, and from all the lands whither he had driven them. And I will bring them again into their land that I that I gave unto their fathers. Okay, so this is what's going to happen, man. The Lord is going to uh, going to destroy two thirds of our people that care about celebrating life and everything like that over here. You know, celebrating these pagan holidays, Valentine's Day about to come up, and y'all um, y'all about to celebrate the shit out of that. This bullshit ass Black History Month, y'all about to celebrate, or, or, or I don't even know how the fuck you celebrate that when a lot of these people that y'all celebrating aren't even freaking, you know, they slave master babies and shit, man. Okay? But you people are about to celebrate these man, y'all celebrating these man made holidays, y'all following whatever y'all think is right rather than what the scriptures say, man. You know? And y'all care about entertainment more than knowledge. Okay, and that's one of the reasons why y'all going to get destroyed. So with that, man, hopefully this lesson was, was, was edifying. And with that, I want to say shalom till next time.